Legion. Good morning, women Wildcats. It is time for our daily announcements. We are from Ms. Denzel's fifth grade class. Let's, today is Monday, November 14th, 2022. Let's stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, individual for liberty and justice for all. Chloe, what are we having for lunch today and tomorrow? Today, we are having a burrito bowl with taco meat, refry with refried beans and cheese, or you can have a sun butter and jelly some butter and jelly sandwich, a cheese stick, lime and chili roasted chickpeas, and mango 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 juice, and a salsa cup, tortilla chips, cinnamon churro crackers, a pineapple cup, a fresh whole apple, and a choice of milk. And tomorrow, the fifteenth, we will be having chicken tender chicken tenders or grilled cheese, and tender peas, fresh celery sticks, ranch dressing. Birthday cake, graham crackers, peach slices, a fresh fruit bowl, and a choice of milk. What can we, Xavier? What can we expect with the weather today and tomorrow? Today we can expect a high of forty and a low of twenty six. Tomorrow we can expect a high of forty and a low of thirty three, and a slight chance. No, not a slight chance. A sixty percent chance of rain. It looks. It looks like we have a few birthday today. It looks like we have a few birthdays today. Ma Not today. This weekend. Yeah. Jameer. No, it's. Sorry. Over the weekend, we had Monica and Gonzalez. And, yeah. and some announcers for our principal, Ms. Clemens. So there are no birthdays today? Okay. So some announcements from Ms. Clemens. It is Monday. So it's our Mindful Monday. So we're going to start off with an announcement about exploring your interests. Find things you enjoy doing and do it more often. For instance, if you love to read, don't just read in school, read before bed, read with a friend, read all about the things you love. Exploring your interests and doing the things you love always allows you to become great at them. So make sure like with a sport, you gotta practice to become better. With your reading, you gotta practice to become better. With your math, you gotta practice to become better. So make sure you find the things you like and do it well. We are seven days away from fall vacation, Thanksgiving vacation, whatever one you want to call it. Seven days, that's all we have before then. So let's make them fun. Let's follow the rules. Let's do a good job. We're going to have some more balls put in the bucket for recess today. But let me tell you, we are running out of them. So if you lose these, if you pop them, if they don't find their way back, you will not have any more until later on. So let's make sure that we take care of them and treat them well. Um, this week, we have some things going on, but nothing absolutely wild and crazy. So let's just make sure that we uh, be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. Miss Amy, what do you have for us today? Miss Amy, I think your mic is, mic is muted. I would just like to let the Wildcats know that we are going to take part in the 2023 District Spelling Bee. Yes, you heard right. S-P-E-L-L-I-N-G B. We're going to be taking part in the Spelling Bee. So today you will be given some information and some words to study. And some of them you'll, you'll say, I know how to spell that. Some of them... I don't know how to spell that, but take the words, ask your teacher for the words. Maybe you can work together with some friends, practice them, and let's see who is going to represent Whitman in the spelling bee. We'll have time to practice. Practice. We'll have some classroom spelling bees. We'll have some school spelling bees, and then some of our top spellers will go to the district spelling bee. That's not until April, but we're going to practice while we still can, right? We want to give ourselves the advantage. Also, we've got a great bulletin board across from the hall, and it's about spreading joy and some artifacts of spreading joy. Some of them are thank you notes. Do you know that when you write a thank you note, that's one way of spreading joy. Go ahead, write a thank you note, and we'll put it up on that bulletin board, and we'll spread some more joy around Whitman School. That's all I have for today, Ms. Clemens. And I think we have a special visitor today. Ms. Schultz, what would you like to share with us? 
Well, hello everyone. I am a special visitor and I am here to represent PBIS. Look what I brought with me. It is a battery. Do you notice that there is a positive side of a battery? Batteries don't work without positivity. If I tried to put this in a toy right now or in a piece of equipment and I put it in wrong or this end was somehow missing, that piece of equipment would, would not work. Just like here at Whitman School, we cannot work without positivity. So guess what? We have a brand new PBIS incentive starting. It's gonna take us next week. Well, today it's gonna to take us Monday all the way through December 19th. December 19th, we're gonna be having cookie decorating. You heard me, cookie decorating. And for your class to be able to participate in cookie decorating, here's what's gonna happen. Your teacher is going to get a chart with 100 squares on it. And your class has to be able to fill up that chart with positivity. How can you get points for positivity? Your teacher might see, I don't know, students hard at work and on task and engaged. And the teacher or staff member that works in your room will go, that's a point. Or another staff member might see it in the hallway or in the cafeteria and say, what a nice class or on the playground and say, what a nice class. Boom, that's gonna be two points. Or if your teacher is able to give a good phone call home, that's going to be two points. So your class is gonna have a chance to earn 100 points to join us all in cookie decorating on December 19th. So we can do it because without, hold on, let me get this right, without positivity, nothing works. See you later. That sounds fun, Michelle. I cannot wait for that. And I think too, didn't we talk about like if students like encourage each other and are positive towards each other, not just fake positive, not, not like, oh, good job, Michelle, like real genuine, like support of each other, Yes, right? Ms. Clemens, a real genuine compliment would also get your class a point, but they've got to be genuine. You can't just, you know, do it to try to get points. Exactly. Okay, guys, wrap it up for us. Yeah. Tune in tomorrow and every day for more Wildcat news. Have a great day, Whitman Wildcats. We'll see you around the building. Show the Wildcat, Wildcat spirit. spirit.